Hello! Today on my channel we are going to be creating a functional yet practical teacher toolkit that can serve you, the teacher, as well as your students. Stay tuned! For this project, you will need 12 of these two draw units, one pack of these self-adhesive hooks, you will need any choice of ribbon or diamond wrap of your choosing, you will need a roll of non-skid padding, you will need a paint marker if you so desire, or you may need labels to label your draw. You would also need foam board. I've already cut mine to the desired size. And of course, you will need your handy dandy tools. Let's get crafting. So the first thing, of course, we have to do is build up our columns for this unit. And how we're going to do this is, of course, if you're using drawers of different colors like I am, or you're trying to establish a pattern, first figure out what colors you're using and what pattern you're trying to create. And then we're going to stack the drawers one on top of the other. And to do this, we are going to use our E6000 glue, of course, in combination with our hot glue gun today, because we want to make sure that we can continue working while that E6000 glue is having a chance to cure and so as you can see I'm just going in with beads of glue as opposed to a stream of it and once I have gotten my glue down in place I'm going to place my second tray on top of that one I'm not pressing it down yet because I want to make sure that it is in the right position and once I get it in the right position I will apply some pressure to it now I'm going to continue stacking my boxes to my desired height and when I come back I will show you what it looks like now here you have the one we just glued together and then I went ahead and glued my my other three columns together in height and then I glued them together side by side and so now I'm going to show you how I did this by using this one last one that we just glued together and to do this is just as simple and pretty much the same thing like we did when we glued them one on top of the other and as you can see I'm going in here again with beads of glue not necessarily streams of it and the reason why I opted to do this is because we do not want to use too much glue so that we have seepage and then the next thing we know our glues excuse me our draws are glued shut and so just make sure if you are recreating this project you are going to just use beads of glue as opposed to a stream of it and just making sure that you are staying in the middle of those rows and columns of the casing of those drawers and you should be pretty much okay now once we have placed all of our glue down similar process I am going to place it First, where I think it's going to sit I'm not gonna press on it I'm not gonna give it any pressure because I want to make sure that I am placing that drawer in the correct place checking the front checking the back and as you can see once I have found my correct placement then I will be able to apply some pressure to it making sure that that hot glue is engaging or has been engaged while our E6000 glue is going to continue to cure over the next 24 hours. And now that I have had or now that I have all of my drawers um, completed, I'm just taking my non-skid mat that we got from the Dollar Tree having already measured them and cut them out into individual mats for each draw and I'm just placing them into the drawer of course this step is optional you do not have to use them but 
it is entirely up to you. So now that we have built up our units, what we're going to do is encase the two sides and the back of this unit in foam board. And to do this, of course, you have to go in and measure um, the size that you need. And to do this was I built one up and I laid three columns side by side. Even before I glued it together, I traced around it with my pencil and then I cut it out with my sharp edge razor. And so what you see I'm doing here is just similar to the process that I used to stack them um, one on top of the other and to stack them side by side and just making sure that you are not using too much E6000 glue or you are not using too much hot glue because you do not want your drawers to be sealed shut. And so once I have placed my beads of glue down, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the that piece of foam board I'm gonna place it right on top of my glue making sure not to press down on it yet because I may have to slide it around to position it where I need it to be and once I have done that then I will apply some pressure but what I do want you to notice is that when I apply this I apply the square edge the commercial edge of this foam board on top and what that did was it gave me a sort of professional look even though I'm gonna go over and encase this with the diamond wrap but just another technique if you are using a foam board start with your edges and this will give you clean cuts as opposed to trying to cut with your sharp edge razor now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the back and then I will come back to show you what our project looks like. So now that we have placed our foam board down, what we're going to do is create or rather lay the borders down for our edges. And I'm using this beautiful um, ribbon that I found at the Hobby Lobby which was on sale um, for 50% off but of course we know that the Dollar Tree also sells um, diamond wrap ribbon and so feel free to use the um, diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree if you so desire but I like this one simply because it matched the color scheme of the two drawers that I chose to use today and as you can see what I'm doing here is I'm going in both with my E6000 and some beads of hot glue and then I'm just going to rest my ribbon on top of it um, making sure that it's in the position that I need it to be and once it is I'm just gonna pat on it um, a few tap taps with my scissors um, trying of course not to burn myself <laughs> and then once that ribbon is in place I will just continue with the other side again just going in the width of that ribbon eyeballing it because I didn't measure it of course with my E6000 and then doing the same process eyeballing it with my hot glue gun and then placing that ribbon down in its place on top of the hot glue which is going to give it it's right now adhesion while that E6000 glue continues to cure over the next 24 hours. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this process with the top and the bottom of the back of that foam board and then I'm going to also continue the process on the other side and when I come back I will show you what it looks like. So now that I have laid my ribbon down on all three sides, there is one side. Here is the back and as you can see that diamond wrap ribbon is matching my color scheme perfectly with my purple and my pink. Now we can continue our process. Now I thought I would have used those chalkboard labels but when I played with them a little bit I didn't like the way it looked and so I just opted to use my black paint 
sharpie to write on what I'm going to be placing in those drawers. Of course, I did not finish because I'm actually going to have to take this kit to school to see what little accoutrement I will want to have in my drawers. And so forgive me that that part is not complete. But what we're going to do now is um, in making this toolkit a complete toolkit, it is going to be functional in the front for the teacher. It is also going to be functional in the back for the students. And to do this, what we're going to do is we are going to affix these hooks that I found at the Dollar Tree on the back of the toolkit so that we will be able to hang passes from it or timers from it anything that your students may need from this toolkit this is going to be their space and so what you see I did was I placed some e6000 glue a little bit too much as you can see on the back of that hook and then I placed a dab of hot glue also on the back of that hook and it was too much glue because the hook started to dry and so I just placed the kit on its face and allowed gravity to do its work and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this process with the other two which will become the other three you'll see it in the outro um, with the rest of these hooks and then I'll clean up our kit and I'll come back to show you what it looks like well here you have it my darlings our Dollar Tree teacher toolkit that we made for all of $15. Now mind you, this $15 could be increased if you wanted to add more drawer space and if you, like me, wanted to use some diamond wrap from either Hobby Lobby or Michaels or it could be less than $15 if you wanted to take out some of those drawers and not have 24 drawers as we have in this one. And so as you can see, not only is it functional for us teachers, but this unit is also going to be functional for your students as well. On the side, you can put some post-its or reminders leave some reminders for yourself and at the back you can hang your passes for your students to leave the classroom of course with permission whatever your procedures would be and of course that is just a sample now like I said I did not use those labels um, that I thought I would have but instead I use my black paint marker to just write on the drawers what it is I'm going to be placing in them and I'm not going to know what I'm going to be using all the drawers for because I actually have to take it to school to see what accoutrement I actually have and so there you have it my darlings if you have found value in this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment in the comment section below to my Danny's darlings please know that I appreciate you guys the comments the questions the love the support thank you all so very much to you if you are not yet a Danny's darling or have not yet subscribed to my channel please be sure to consider joining our ever-growing community of DIYers we would love to have you and until next time my darlings when I see you again please be sure to be well take care of yourselves know that I love you all bye now